Hey guys, this week uh, let's, we're going to do some striking activities. And when I say striking, if you think of activities like ping pong, where you have a little paddle and you're striking the ball. Tennis, you have a big tennis racket and you're striking the tennis ball. Um, maybe you're playing golf. You're taking your golf club and you're striking, you're hitting the um, golf ball with your golf club. Baseball. You're hitting the baseball with your uh, bat or softball. You're hitting the softball with your bat. There's tons of activities and sports that involve striking. So since we're, some of us are at home, go grab a spatula or something that you can strike with. Um, the better if it has a shorter handle. I was even thinking like a pool noodle, but I don't have pool, a pool noodle here. So I grabbed a spatula. I think most households might have a spatula. If not, maybe you can grab like a big spoon or a big fork, but something with like a flat head would be good, okay? Um, I was thinking a broom too, but brooms are kind of long handled. So I guess if you don't have a spatula, you could grab a, you could grab a broom handle. Um, or maybe if you do have a, a, a golf club at your house or a baseball bat or a softball bat, something like that. Just something that you can hit a um, paper bag with. So the next item you need is a paper bag. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna fluff it out like this, try to get as much air in it as you can. Take the handles and tie it. If you don't know how to tie, try to get somebody in your house to tie it, but try to tie it to where the hole is gone and trap that air inside like that. Now I'm not gonna promise you that the air is gonna stay because we are gonna be striking it, which means hitting it, okay? So I'm going, to, okay, that's the best I could do. And you can test it by tossing it up and it floats, so that's good. All right. Um, now, when you're doing striking units or a striking game, like the sports or games I was telling you before, you have to work on your hand. That is not my hand, this is my hand. Hand, eye, coordination, okay? Just like in anything in PE, we always say, watch the ball, watch whatever it is come into your hands, correct? That's using hand-eye coordination. Now, when you have a striking implement, which is like this, or a tennis racket, or a ping pong paddle, baseball bat, softball bat, whatever you have, you have to watch the item that you're holding, the striking item, actually hit the item. So you still are using hand-eye coordination. Okay, you gotta keep your eye on the item. I'm gonna keep my eye on the bag and I'm gonna hit the item, okay? So let's do some, um, grab your spatula, grab your airy bag here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work on getting the eye, getting the striking implement, getting the spatula under the ball. I'm gonna call this a bag, bag ball, whatever under it to just hit it upward, okay? So I'm gonna use the front of my item to hit this um, bag in the air multiple times. Okay, so let's try to do this for about 30 seconds. Ready and go. Remember, keep your eyes on the bag. Now, if you have a um, balloon at your house, that would probably even be better because balloons hold air better than these things. Okay, if you notice, I am not even looking at you. I am straight up looking at the bag, making sure that my spatula is hitting the bag. Okay, just like if you're in a baseball, softball game, when the pitcher throws you the ball, you must keep your eye on the ball. Okay, tennis, you got to keep your eye on the tennis ball. Ping pong, you've got to keep your eye on the ping pong ball. Okay, and stop, catch your bag, very good. Um, so that's why striking units that we do in PE are good for you in case you want to play, for instance, like ping pong, that's just kind of a fun thing that you do when you go to a friend's house or you go to a party or something. They might have a ping pong table, you can play it there. As you get older, you might want to play tennis. Baseball, softball, whatever, field hockey, lacrosse. Um, I'm sorry, not lacrosse. That's not striking. Um, 
uh, all these other sports where you strike items, okay? So that's why we try to help you get better at your hand-eye coordination. So now this time, let's take the bottom of the spatula. So you're gonna rotate your wrist, okay? And you're gonna hit it upwards with the back side of your item, okay? Um, just a reminder, I have my spatula in my strong hand. This is my right hand and this is what I write with. This is what I do a lot of things with. This is what I play sports with, okay? So I'm using my strong hand. So now, so go ahead and flip your item over, flip your striking implement over, and for 30 seconds, let's tap the bag this way. Keep your eye on the bag. Good job, you guys. So like I said, if you can, if you don't have a plastic bag at home, uh, maybe you can even blow up a Ziploc bag or something. Something that will hold air. This is holding pretty good, but the more air it holds, of course it's going to float longer. This one's not floating as long because I'm losing air, okay? Once again, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the bag because I want to make contact with it with my hand-eye coordination with my striking implement, which is my spatula. Good job, you guys. Keep going. Five more seconds. Oh, my dog is barking at me. She wants to come play. Okay, good job. So now we're gonna get a little trickier, okay? This time, we're gonna hit it with the front of our item. So if we pretend like this is a tennis racket, this is the front of the racket, and this is the bottom of the racket, okay? So we are going to go like this. You're gonna alternate, which means switch. So you're gonna go front, back, front, and back. So you're gonna flip it every time, okay? Ready for 30 seconds, and go. So up, back, up, back, front, back, front, back, front, back, front, back. And if you need to stop and add a little more air to your bag or whatever, that's fine. It's perfect to do that because the more air that comes out, like I said, the heavier it is, the quicker you're gonna have to be. Although you might like it. You might want it to fall quicker. Sorry, my dogs are being very bad. I think they want to come play or they think I'm a stranger. Um, oh, okay. Sorry, I was just checking on them. They're gone. All right. So that was good. So that was alternating front to back, front to back. And that's really helping your hand-eye coordination. Now, next, what we're going to do, use the front part of your item. You're going to hit it and catch the bag with your other hand. Got it? Then you're going to throw it in the air, hit it with the front, catch with your hand you're not using. Got it? Okay, ready? 30 seconds and go. Hit, catch, throw, catch, hit, toss, catch. I'm sorry, toss, hit, catch. Toss, hit, catch. Now, at the same time, I am not looking at you. I am always having my eyes on my bag. I've always got my eyes on the bag because that's the item that I'm trying to strike. Okay, so you should keep your eyes on your bag too or whatever you're hitting. Very good. Hit it right up in the air. Good. Oh, there we go. Toss, hit, catch. Toss, hit, catch. All right. Good job. Excellent job, you guys. Now we're going to try that again, but we're going to do it with the back side of our spatula or whatever you're using. Okay. 30 seconds. Let's use the back side. It's going to feel a little different because you're your wrist is now twisted this way, okay? Ready? And go. Toss, hit, catch. Toss, hit, catch. Toss, hit, catch. I know you guys are doing a good job. 
Remember, the more the merrier. Hopefully you guys can get some brothers and sisters involved. And this is something too, if you do have brothers and sisters, moms and dads and whoever you live with at home, you can fill up a bunch of these bags, grab a bunch of spatulas or whatever you have that are, that's short handled and maybe come up like with a mini tennis game to play at home, just where you hit it back and forth, okay? And keep score if you want. Nice, good job. Nice. Okay, next we're gonna get tricky. We're gonna go, we're gonna toss it. We're gonna toss it. I'm gonna hit it once with the front, once with the back, and catch. So toss it, front side, back side, catch. Ready? 30 seconds, go. Toss, hit, and back, and catch. Toss, front, back, catch. Toss, front, back, catch. Sometimes you gotta angle it back to you because I am losing a lot of air here. Front, back, catch. Toss, front, back, catch. Toss, front, back, catch. Good job, you guys. I know you guys are doing a great job. Awesome. Front, back, catch. Toss, front, back, catch. Five seconds. One more. Oh, all right. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is, I'm not sure how high your ceilings are. You can see mine, is not, it's not very high. Plus, some of your ceiling fans, so I'm about to back up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna toss it, okay? And you're gonna hit it as high as you can. Oh, that didn't work, does it? High as you can with the front side of your item. Let it float down and catch. Hit it as high as you can. Let it float down and catch it with your other hand. Okay, so technically we're working on catching with our hand-eye coordination and we're working on striking with an implement with our hand-eye coordination. So you're getting two things in one today. So this is awesome. All right, ready? Let's do this one for one minute. Ready and go. Hit. Ready? Hit as hard as you can. Way up in the sky. There you go. Oh, I might need to blow this up. Oh, I got that was a good one. See if you can catch it right before it hits the floor. Boom. There you go. Hit it way up high. Let it come down, come down, and catch. Hit it way up high. Let it come down, come down, and catch right before it hits the floor. Or don't let it hit the floor, I mean. Nice job, you guys. Nice job. Oh, that hit me. I got caught my spatula. Boom. Nice job. Oh. <laughs> and catch. Ready. And catch. Right, I got to check the time. You guys keep going. You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hey, I had a lot of fun today with the bag and the spatula. Uh, you guys find whatever you can. Have fun with this. Have a good time. Make up some games. And if you make up some games, email me and let me know about it, and maybe I'll use it, okay? You guys have a great week or weekend, depending on when you watch this. We miss you guys. Have fun.